Okay, so let's just start. Uh, first, we're going to get wet the whole paper. You can use um, two and a half large area brush. And what we are doing is uh, by wetting all the paper and let the paper dry. When you start uh, using the colors, the paper does not get uh, wavy. So let's let it try. Okay guys here, I um, apologize because I ran out of memory and I didn't realize and when I <laughs> I realized it was too late. But uh, basically what I did is um, starting with the ultramarine color, then the cobalt blue, cerulean blue, I, st I tried to brush up the colors and then I finally I add some uh, apple green uh, some spots as you can see and uh, this color is quite brilliant it's really really powerful so with few drops you can cover a lot of canvas uh, with this um, but um, now that the watercolor paper is dry I want to get um, some more details and give like a three-dimensional effect uh, how we can uh, we, will, we will be capable of doing it and let's continue so I want um, a more unified color blue color so I'm going to add more uh, cobalt blue between in the middle because That way we have more harmony. I experimented using baking soda, but apparently the baking soda is not doing much effect. I didn't notice any effect at all. I'm covering this middle area with cobalt blue. I'm doing these light effects that we have. Using the piece of paper trying to respect that light effect
so I'm going crazier and crazier adding more deep blue ultramarine blue Let it dry a little bit. Maybe add in more here. I am adding some definitions to this um, like coral like sea plant formations <laughs> um, so yeah um, as you can see I'm adding some definitions to it but I think we can uh, add uh, some sparkles of yellow a little bit <laughs> 